On to the next final shortly. But semi final action first in the men's 200 meters individual medley. This is where the great Ryan Lochte sits top of the time charts. So the first semi final it's Ericsson of Sweden, Henschel of Germany, Walton of Great Britain, who was involved in that four by 100 relay gold last night. But they are not the fastest in this heat. As a result of the morning action here. A little musical interlude for James Brown before he gets back into the pool. In lane one for Sweden, qualifying in uh, just a shade under 206 as Oscar Eriksson of Sweden. In lane two, the 400 freestyle champion Paul Henschel from Germany. In lane three, involved in the 4x100 relay title win for Britain, it's Martin Walton. Lane four, the fastest qualifier of these eight from Portugal, Gabriel Lopez, 202.72. Daniel Soss for Hungary, 203.58, the second fastest qualifier, and he's in five. Mara Kostina for the Czech Republic is in lane six. In lane seven for Italy, Matteo Bertoldi qualifying in 205. And it had looked as if all of the Irish swimmers in action this morning had been knocked out, but in as a reserve is James Brown, the only representative for Ireland this evening. He's their sole man in action. Ericsson, Henschel, Walton, Lopez, Sosasina, Bertoldi, and Brown, the one to eight in this first semi final of the men's 200 individual medley. So underway in this first semi-final, Lopez with the fastest time, Sauce with the second going into this, and Ericsson emerging well, and Henschel just marginally out in front, but how can he translate the 400 freestyle into the 200 IM? He'll obviously have a good belt in the final 50 metres, but at the moment, leading in lane four is Lopez. Lopez, the favourite after the heat this morning. And he doesn't turn first, it's Walton just 0 0.04 ahead of Lopez of Portugal, but very close at uh, this early stage. And a great underwater backstroke for Lopez, making the full use of the 15 meters allowed before coming up at the surface and coming up in the lead. And Lopez leads from Martin Walton of Great Britain in lane three at the moment and over in six. Mara Casina for the Czech Republic's doing very well also. Sauce will be around fourth place when they go into the breaststroke. Lopez leading Walton by 0.66. And in third place was Asina. Sauce in fourth, but very little between those. Ericsson in fifth. It was Bertoli sixth, Henschel seventh, and Brown in eighth. And going well in four, Lopez. Can he keep it going during the breaststroke? Looks like he's doing well. He is, but it also looks like Sauce is trying to get back into the action, catching up Arsina and Walton from Great Britain, trying to hang in there, but it really is Lopez dominating as we turn into the freestyle, and then second, third, and fourth, neck and neck. You can see there Arsina just caught up a huge amount in those last 10 metres of the breaststroke leg. Can Lopez open it up again in lane four? He looks strong on the freestyle, 25 metres to go. He's opening it up. But out in lane six, Osina trying to hang on. And look at this. This is so close. 15 metres to go. Lopez losing touch on the freestyle. And it looks as though Sos is going to take the title into the first semi-final. Sos takes it. Walton came back strong for second. And Osina finishing in third. This is the first semi-final of two. Time of 2.02.65. Faster than he swam in the heats this morning. Can he go faster again in tonight's final? Tomorrow's final. That will be 
Yeah, Sauce taking the honours in the end, 202.65. Walton in second place after that four by one gold yesterday. And he just kept the momentum going very impressively indeed. Did Sauce Lopez had started excellently but fell behind in the freestyle. And Henschel, who won that freestyle gold yesterday, did manage to edge back, but fifth for him in the end. So Sauce wins this semi final. Walton in second, Asina third, Lopez fourth, then Henschel. Bertoli, Erickson and Brown.